Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. David Pendleton here, Wednesday, February 1st. And if you're following along with my series, yesterday was the $160 wager to try to win $320. And we did it. We are halfway through the 10-day challenge, our very first time through. Uh, late last night, I did get a message from somebody saying that they were following along uh, ever since day number one. And um, I do have one referral bonus on one of the websites. So I was kind of curious on who that was. They reached out last night. So awesome job, Larry, for also being at the 160 to 320. He sent me a picture of his bet slip, which is the exact one that I had posted about an hour and a half before game time yesterday. Uh, I'm not encouraging anybody to follow along. Sports wagering um, is just like anything else. Uh, you shouldn't do it unless you can afford to lose, right? So, you know, don't go out to a bar drinking on a Saturday night and spend a $100 bar tab. If that's your rent money, this is no different. Uh, but, hey, I started off with $10. bucks. i am trying to turn it into $10,000 in 10 days. I don't know if I'll have the stones to continue if it gets up to some of those larger wagers. But as of right now, uh, this is a lot of fun. So we started with 10 bucks. We're up to $320. Let's go ahead and run through uh, how this happened. So yesterday, Kent State was a massive favorite at home, as you can see here. I was actually really nervous about this game. They were losing at halftime. I was like, come on, guys. Like Central Michigan has no point of even hanging with you all. But hey, that's how sports are, man. You just never know, right? You get that underdog story. Alabama, as you can see here, they won uh, 101 to 44. That was a no contest. The Ottawa Senators game was back and forth all night. The Senators did win. I said I thought they would win. I did not think it would be this close, though, or this high scoring. They won 5-4. to four. So in reality, I gave myself one and a half goals. I actually won this game 6.5-4. to four. Um, Now we flip over here to the NBA prop bets. Jimmy Butler, Evan Mobley, those guys had no issues covering Allow me to show you what happened with Darius Garland yesterday. Remember, I say that on these player proposition bets in the NBA, there's a couple things that have to not happen. Um, one is an injury, an early injury, and you're going to be dead in the water because your guys aren't going to get there, and foul trouble. Darius Garland could not keep himself out of foul trouble last night. First seven minutes of the game, he picks up two fouls. So, of course, he has to sit until the mid-second quarter. And what do you know he does before halftime? He goes up there and picks up his third foul of the game. So, going into halftime, Darius Garland, points, rebounds, and assists, is looking dead in the water. Fourth quarter gets started. What do you know happens before the end of the fourth quarter? Dude goes out there and gets his fourth foul. I'm like, come on, man. What are you doing? And these weren't even like... These weren't even fouls that needed to happen. Like, he put his shoulder into somebody uh, past the three-point line. That was his fifth foul of the game that he picked up with, like, four minutes left in the game or so. Um, I, some of these were just ticky-tacky fouls. They were fouls. Don't get me wrong, but come on. He didn't need to do them at all. But let me tell you what happened. Going into the fourth quarter, all right, he had four fouls. I needed him to get... Uh, four more, okay, so four more points, rebounds, assists, any combination of that, Duke couldn't get anything done. He was passing the ball, his teammates were missing. He took a three-pointer, and it like hit the side of the backboard. It wasn't even close. So anyways, in the final minute of the game, he has five fouls. All I need him to do is get one more. It could be one point, one rebound, one assist. None of it matters. But look at the time left on the Come clock on, here. Okay. 11 right, seconds left. They get the ball to him. Oh, my gosh. With eight, eight seconds, seconds left on the clock, game. he hits a three-pointer, and it's all bucket. Look at this. Let's look at it in slow-mo. Boom, boom, bang. So I jumped off the couch. I was so excited. Darius Garland, you know, I was sweating it all game, but there he goes. And then the night game, uh, this was really easy. Uh, Giannis, CJ McCollum, Jokic, a stud, Brandon Ingram, they all covered easily. As a matter of fact, heading into the fourth quarter, uh, they had all already did what they need to do. That is a recap of day number five. Uh, I'm going to go out there today, later on this afternoon, like I do an hour and a half or an hour before game start. I'll start putting my bet together. If I find something that I like, I'll put it in and I'll post it. Thanks for following along. Remember, I do have a brand new YouTube channel that will be dedicated to this type of content. Please look for that in the description below and um, help me build up my subscribers there. Please hit the thumbs up, drop me some comments. Let me know how it's going. Thanks, everybody.